for work with kids or animals. Well, in his latest role, Keith Carradine puts himself in double jeopardy by sharing the screen with both a little girl and a lovable harbor seal. The movie is called Andre, and Keith Carradine is at our Burbank studios this morning to tell us all about it. Hey, Keith, good morning. Thanks for getting up so early. <laughs> good morning. It was my pleasure, and thanks for going to the movie last night. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I thought it was really cute, and I know that it, the, throughout the movie, Keith, I was wondering, in fact, my husband kept asking me, is this based on a true story? It yes, is, it in is. fact, it, it based. It is. Place. We found out at the end of the movie that it, is, it says based on a true story. Tell, tell me a little bit about the movie for people who haven't seen it yet. Well, it's based on the story of this uh, very famous seal named Andre who was found by a, a, a harbor master in Rockport, Maine. And he trained this animal, and it became a part of his family and a big part of the town. And then it ultimately became a huge tourist attraction in the town of Rockport. This is back in the early 60s. And he, uh, this animal did extraordinary things, and, and uh, that's what's more or less documented in the movie. The, the, the real-life family was uh, the Goodridges. The, the Goodridges, is that right? Is that yes, uh, name? Yes, Harry Goodridge and his family in were, Rockport, Maine. Yeah. Were you able, Keith, to spend any time with members of the family? I understand that well, the do one of the daughters was a consultant, is that right? Yes, yeah, so one of the daughters was a consultant, and we were paid a visit on the set. We shot the film in Vancouver, British Columbia, and we were visited on the set by some members of the family. I, I unfortunately never got to meet Harry. He passed away a couple of years ago, but uh, some of the family did come around, yeah. We have some footage of, of the real Andre which is, is remarkable. Did you find that the movie stayed fairly close to the, to the true story? Well, it's remarkably close, actually. And uh, in fact, some of the more, what, what you would think are implausible moments in the film, some of the things that the animal does in the film, that people will say, well, that's just a movie. They actually happen. I mean, it's, it's quite astonishing. We're going to take a, a look at a scene from Andre. Here, you've just brought Andre back to the house, and you're not quite ready to let your wife and your family know that y'all have a new pet. Let's take a look. All right. Come on, take it. Gary? You in there? Yeah. Have you seen my Sears catalog? Uh, yeah, I think it's in the bathroom. Well, we've got to order a new typewriter or I'll never get that cookbook finished. And can we please, please, oh, please clean out this barn? We say we're going to do it every spring and we never... And look, you could make me a nice new office down here. Uh, good idea. I'm serious. Me too. And that old tub, that's going right now. What? Uh, uh, you missed it. I missed what? Um, a red white sweatshirt. like a fruit bat. Yeah, bat. Uh-huh. Don't you have some homework in, lady? Tina, that little girl, Tina Marjorino is her name, and she is Tina quite... Tina Majorino. Majorino. She is, is really hot in Hollywood. How is she to work with? I know she's, she's, was in, she's in Karina Karina. She was in When a Man Loves a Woman, and she's in all sorts of movies these days. Was she fun to work with? She was a delight. She's a very talented little actress, a little girl, and also just a great kid. Yeah. Uh, she was really terrific. The whole experience was really wonderful. Well, I have to, of course, talk about the star of the movie, Andre himself yeah. uh, the, the the seal was played by actually four sea lions and primarily by a sea lion named tori is that right yes yeah, primarily by a sea lion named tori who was trained by suzanne fortier yeah well what did you think of working with this uh sea lion and were you amazed well i i was really surprised at, at uh, uh um not only by their intelligence but uh you know i most of us think of sea lions as sort of dogs with flippers, you know, and uh -huh. this, this was not a dog by any stretch of the imagination. They're, they're, they're uh, very powerful, very fast, uh, um, very intelligent, and, um, and, and sometimes a little bit unpredictable. <laughs> Would you say this movie is mostly for, for kids, Keith, or do you think there's something here for adults as well? No, not at all. This is definitely a family film, and it, it, I'm really, really happy to finally be a part of a project like this something that my kids can go see i have to ask you though it seems so wholesome i didn't see anything objectionable in it why in the world is it rated pg instead of g you know i remember somebody told me the specific moment in the film that generated the pg rating um and in fact uh you know it's it's quite benign maybe it was because the kids smoke i'm not sure there's a <laughs> scene where the kids are caught smoking in the barn something like or maybe i know i think what it is is it's when uh, when keith sarabica's character uh, Billy goes after the seal with a pitchfork. Oh, so maybe I think they thought that was a little, on, on, you know, on the violent side. But so for the most part, w would you recommend it for all ages, pretty much? A hundred percent, yeah. Good, because I took my. Yeah, no, this is definitely a film for everyone. Okay, Keith Carradine, the movie is Andre. I want to just say one thing though. 
go see this movie, Andre, it's great, and uh, take your parents. <laughs> well, thank you so much. I can't think of a better way to end this interview. <laughs> Thanks, Keith. Good to see you. Good to see you. And we're back in a moment with more on today, right after this.